Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to Prog Monster on this Christmas Day. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So this is my show that I do every Sunday, usually around noon. This week's a little bit late, it's Christmas, right? So uh, the show is called This Week. This is episode number 24 for the week of December 25th through to December 31st. And all the show, all the details of what's going to be happening and the content for this channel um, on this particular week. And then, of course, any other upcoming stuff. So this is a basically an announcements show. So this week we are doing... Uh, five regular shows including the one we're doing right now and then we have eight series shows the last one being for the um, ranking so <clears throat> so without further ado we're going to get into it so the first episode after this particular show will be Ben's album challenge which will come out tonight at around eight o'clock um, Featuring a band that he gave me last week called Skyhooks. The album, I believe, is called Living in the 70s. Uh, I haven't really looked up too much information on it yet, but I think that's what it's entitled. I've listened to the album once already. I'm going to be listening to it a couple more times today. Sorry. And then I'll give my kind of... Uh, review of the album so to speak um so that i'm looking forward to uh all of the albums he's given to me up to date and i believe he's given me eight uh there was one in there that i did another group of by accident so there's actually eight in there uh and all of them have done well people seem to appreciate them and like them he has excellent choices i think as well so anyways the next episode out will be tomorrow night on Monday night look back at a classic rock album and I'm going to tackle this one <laughs> to be honest with you I'm kind of uh, um, a bit um, frightened by this prospect because this album is a very complex album in a lot of ways and how I review it is gonna have to be very different than I normally review an album because it's a rock opera and so you can't really take the songs apart at least not on this album I think you kind of have to just look at it as a whole that's the approach I'm going to take um, not you know I'm, I'm probably gonna take a little bit of heat for this not one of my favorite who albums I'm not really sure why um, there's a lot of stuff on there that I like quite a bit I just prefer the 70s who a little bit more and the later stuff that's come out in recent years it's, but it's still a good album it's just not one of my favorite ones but we'll be doing that today uh, and the reason we're doing this one is because it's the hundredth episode of this particular show so we've done a hundred uh, look back at classic rock albums since this channel started that's quite a few um, I know there's some people that's all they do and that's great um, I like doing other things too but um, I like doing this particular show because I go very much in as much into detail as I can about the album, about the stats. I like that kind of stuff, uh, who's on the album, um, all of that stuff. So we're lo I'm looking forward to this one, even though I'm a little bit intimidated by it. So this is uh, The Who by Tommy on Monday nights. Look back at a classic rock album. So for Wednesday night favorites, I didn't want to do another... Um, uh, another top 25 from a, a country thing that I did last week although that one did very well and a lot of people seem to like it a lot I'm just kind of spacing them out a bit um, so this week we're going and I did do a cheap trick last week and I wanted to do another top 10 this week so for t for Wednesday night favorites will be my top 10 foreigner songs my top 10 favorite foreigner songs um, a band that I had quite a bit more to do with when I was younger and uh, got into them when I was still kind of just discovering rock music. So I, I would think from maybe like late 79 through to maybe 
mid 80s before I kind of they kind of faded a bit for me I do have some of their stuff but not a ton of it and um, but uh, for the first four or five studio albums I listen to fairly fairly regularly so we'll be doing that and then we have the end of the month hauls um, this is a show in which I show you all the stuff I purchased bought or was given during the month of um, December um, not too much at this present time but I am making a trip to the big city this week and with every intent of not just going to the museum but also to uh, go to several of the uh, record stores there and see what I can get um, I am planning some to go a little bankrupt I think <laughs> So there could be as many as 25 or 30 albums coming back from that trip as well. So that'll be interesting. There's a lot of stuff that I've made a list of too, especially from the recent series and some of the stuff that Ben's given me and then some of the stuff that I've been listening to on my own as well. Quite a bit of stuff I want to get, but of course you can't get it all. So you get what you get and then you enjoy it. I have got, I think I've got about seven seven or so at the moment um just stuff i picked up here and there and then i did make a, a trip to my favorite record store and uh, was able to pick up five albums there that i wanted so that's it for the hauls for this month um we'll be doing that show of course on the last day of the month which will be december 31st new year's eve sorry i don't know why i'm tired it's middle of the afternoon I'll be eating soon, so that's probably what's making me tired. Um, anyway, so the other um, things we'll be doing this uh, week, we have eight series episodes, which will finalize the series. Uh, we'll get to the last one. And in addition to those, I will be doing a ranking of those of the 31 albums um, that we've done this month. And, you know, I've only listened to them all pretty much only once, so... I'm going to try and rank them and how I like them from episode to episode. So, you know, there'll be somebody's going to have to be at the bottom. There are a few here I didn't really care for. Most of them were I, I liked, and so there's a few I liked quite a lot. So, should be um, should be an interesting ranking. I'm actually curious to see what I think of them. <laughs> Uh, I'm not thinking of them right now, so when I sit down and have all of them in front of me, I'll have to go through and order them around so that'll be fun too I think um, I'm looking forward to that that will come out right after the last episode on the 31st so probably around noon it'll come out so we'll have the last episode then around noon we'll have the rankings and then of course we'll have the hauls later in the day and I believe that's a Thursday or well, maybe I'm wrong no it's next Saturday of course what am I what am I talking about so those will be the only three on that Saturday too. So it'll be um, good. So so the final seven albums for the series. So on day 25, December 25th, which is a Sunday, it'll be Pink Floyd's A Momentary Lapse of Reason. I did, oh actually that one came out this morning. Sorry, I forgot about that. So that came out this morning. Um, and if you if you watch it, you'll you'll see that I, I did wasn't sure I was going to keep it included because there was a couple of parts there that were maybe a little bit of um you know maybe just pushing the envelope a bit as far as them being entirely a new album so you'll if you watch the episode you'll see what I mean um, number 26 day 26 which is tomorrow um, we will have a another um, Another look back at a class. Oh, sorry, look back at a classic rock album. Where am I going with this? Another um, new album that I haven't listened to, of course. So this is on day twenty-six, it'll be Adrian Ballou with. Um, I might need my glasses for my writing here. Yeah, Desire caught my tail. I should just gonna keep them on for a minute. Um, num on day twenty-seven, December twenty-seventh, which is Tuesday. We'll be doing Ang Ang Vu Dun, uh, sorry Ang Ang Vu Dun Chen is the name of the album. So 
Aang is, for some of you who may have been following my Ben's album challenge, they're the angels. That's the, that's the angel band that I did first by accident because the guy had translated it into English. Loosely, I might add. Um, however, uh, this was the band that he got that from. So we're doing the Wu Dun Chang, Chun, Chen album. I did like their first that first album, the Face to Face, so I, I'm hoping I will like this one as well. Um, December 28th, day 28, which is a Wednesday, we are doing a band called Quasar, and the album will be Lorelei. Then we get on the 29th, December 29th, day 29, which is a Thursday, we will do News of Babel. I've actually looked this up just a bit just to make sure these guys were progressive because I wasn't so sure. And the album is called Work Resumes on the Tower. So I'm assuming the album is about the Tower of Babel. That makes, would make sense, wouldn't it? Um, day 30, December 30th, which is Friday, we'll be doing Solace and the album will be Silent Dance. Know nothing about this. I didn't look it up at all. I just seen that it was a progressive album. It looked interesting, so I chose it for the list. And then the last one was put on um, kind of um, because for some reason I only had 30 written down and didn't realize it until I started to do this week. So I looked up the one more of the neo-prog bands from the early 80s, the second wave of uh, progressive rock, and I put in a band called Twelfth Night, and the album is 12. Um, this was a band that was mentioned to me one other time by a different guy as well, and I remembered the band and then went in to see what they had done, and this was the album they had done, and so I added them for day 31. So... Um, yeah, so that'll be the last one of the series. That'll be day 31, December 31st, New Year's Eve on a Saturday, and we will do 12 night, uh, number 12. And I'm looking forward to that because so far I've liked all four of the other, um, the other neo-prog bands from that time era. I knew I liked Marillion and IQ before I started this. And both Palace and Pendragon I liked quite a bit, and I... And I I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this as well, so we will see though. And then we'll do the ranking, and the ranking will go pretty much the way it would normally go if I was doing a group or an album. You know, I'm going to start, or or a, um, you know, any anything that I do with I rank, I, I generally start at the bottom and work my way up to the top. This is not uncommon. Most people who have these kind of channels do this. And so, uh, not, this, but there won't be any honorable mentions, obviously, because we're only doing the 31 um, albums that we listened to. We can't do honorable mentions on albums we didn't listen to. So that's, that's where we're going to go with this. I think it'll be interesting. I'm actually very curious to see how and who I put at the top, because I have no idea at the moment. Um, and that's how my alleged mind works. No idea at the moment. Okay, enough of that. So other things coming up. Um, what's coming up in the new year? Of course, we'll be doing another series. I'm still not quite sure what I want to do. I guess it'll probably depend on what I purchased next week. That may have an impact on it. So that's kind of why I'm leaving it open. I, I do have some ideas about where I want to go and what I want to do. Um, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I may do something similar to this with hard rock bands. I might, I might do that. But that kind of makes me feel like there might be some hair metal being in here and I'm not too keen on that at the moment. Um, I may go and do another year. Like I did 1980, I may do another year uh, for January. Or I might be doing something um, completely off the wall um, and I'm not sure what that'll be it'll depend on what I get you know that may spark a, uh, an idea in my head to um, or I might not do anything in January but I doubt it I, I, I feel like I want to do something in January it's winter time 
you know, lots of indoor time, so best to do it now, right? Um, and for uh, what else? What else will we do? We will be starting um, back. Well, it won't be in the new year, but it'll probably be back in April. We will start back with a with the live Friday night live. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep it on Friday night. I haven't decided yet. And uh, Legends, I'm still on the Rock Legends show. I'm still undecided about whether I want to continue with that or not. I'm, I've taken the two weeks off because of the holidays. I'm not sure I'm going to continue with it. I, I've just found it possibly a bit not really enjoying it that much. So I may, may or may not do it. I haven't decided yet. And then if I don't do it, then there'll be room there for something else. And uh, there are a couple ideas in my head. And if you have any ideas as well, you're more than welcome to uh, voice them. I've gotten um, quite a few of my ideas have come from people on the on the uh, channel who uh, will say, I would like to see you do this, can you do this, maybe do this, and so I've tried to incorporate that as best I can. Some of the ideas I've had to change a little bit just because of the, um, you know, like with the uh, DB when he suggested doing a top 10 favorite um, progressive rock bands from the 1980s, I thought, well, I don't even know if I know top, I don't even know if I know 10 progressive rock bands from the 1980s. I had no idea because I never looked into it before. I basically most of the stuff I had been listening to was from the 1970s and a few here and there that weren't from the 1970s but once I did so I decided to do this to do an ex exploration and I found that there was quite a few bands in there that I knew that I didn't realize that they were still going so anyways those kind of ideas you know they do spark this they spark this series right and you know I'm going to do a top 25 I guess a top 31 uh, ranking the top 31 of this series that we just did so he's going to get his top 10 but it'll just be 31 instead okay <laughs> anyways um, I hope you um, uh, have enjoyed what you've done up to now and uh, I look forward to doing a lot more and getting better at it and and uh, being more experimental and making it a little more interesting each each month we go along I think it's getting better um, I'm enjoying it more and I think there's a lot of people out there who are enjoying it as well. So anyways, I hope you have a good Christmas day and a good Christmas dinner and we will see you, uh, I guess it will be tonight at 8 o'clock for Ben's Album Challenge. Looking forward to it. So have a good night.